All right, everybody, we are back with more Dark, and this time we're on Season 1, Episode 4. Let's jump straight in. This room is so creepy. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Jesus. I love that. Where slash when is Mikkel? God. Double lives. I still can't get over how Mikkel and Ulrich were right there. They were just uh, in different timelines. Jesus. <laughs> Separate rooms? I wonder if he's going to go to the caves and Ulrich is going to be there and they're going to like team up or something because he has the map now. So it's, it's possible he's going to put it in his backpack. Yeah, I think that might be exactly what's going to happen. God, man. Man. He, he, okay, he scares me for real. I've, Like, I feel like he knows a lot, but it's just jumbled up. It has to stop. What if he's counting down for the next, um, like, shift to occur? Vor Wochen ist in der Kleinstadt Winden ein 15-jähriger Junge auf mysteriöse Weise verschwunden. Und nun alarmiert ein Vermisstenfall die Bürger der Stadt. Der elfjährige Mikkel gilt seit zwei Tagen als vermisst. In den letzten Monaten vermehrt... Just stop in the middle of the street? Girl! Town's just that empty, huh? <laughs> ...entdecken in der Zwischenzeit weitere Vorfälle zu melden. Oh. She's like, what was that? <laughs> Did you just steal something? <laughs> Is there, what do you call it? It's the same thing. <laughs> oh my God. Is Ulrich going to be in here? I hope I'm right. Come on. <laughs> because think about it. He's the last one that saw his son. So technically, like, this fucking, it's the hotel guy. Yeah. <sighs> and he's counting down. Okay. 
What? You're doing what? <laughs> Does he know that? <laughs> No. <laughs> Dieser Roman ist durchzogen von einem Netz von Symbolen und Verweisen. Als Beispiele aus der Fülle der Symbole seien zum Beispiel bewusst, teils unbewusst. Ähm Wollen Sie nicht weitermachen? Die Symmetrie äh, ist eine spezielle Art der Doppelung. Sie hat eine Mittelachse, an der sich das wiederholte Spiegel. Stellen, da verweist der Roman auf später stattfindende Ereignisse. So wird zum Beispiel der Hungertod von Ottilie bereits ein Tag später nochmal wiederholt. Uh, du mal auf Toilette. With your stuff? Ja, klar. What the? <laughs> This guy. No, oh, no, like Magnus. I mean, I, I get that right now. He's probably just so confused. Because he did lose his brother, but. It's such a, it's just casual conversation while you're cutting open birds, dead birds. Nein. Diese Flecken auf dem Gefieder habe ich schon mal gesehen. Vor 33 Jahren. Als wäre das alles schon mal passiert. Die Kinder. Die Vögel. Irgendwie gehört das alles zusammen. The fact that she's putting all this together, she has zero hints whatsoever. It's just, uh, now that's impressive. I love how everybody is, you know, like at their own pace, they're going off of what they've either lived to experience or like Jonas um, has come across and experienced, I guess, technically indirectly because he was there when Jonas was taken, not, not Jonas, when um, Mikko was taken. I'm sure he wants to find Mick. Ooh! He wants to find Mickle as much as anyone because he probably feels responsible for his disappearance. Wo warst du denn? Den ganzen Morgen klingeln schon die Telefone. Irgendjemand muss das wegen dem toten Jungen erzählt haben. Was soll ich denn da jetzt antworten? Ist Ulrich da? Nein, wieso? Ich möchte, dass du nochmal durch die vermissten Datenbank gehst. Diesmal nehmen wir auf ältere Anzeigen auf. Vielleicht ist er ja schon lange verschwunden. Überhaupt nur für die letzten 15 Jahre, okay? Ja, gut. Sonst noch was? Äh, nein. Äh, doch. Wegen der roten Erde. Wir finden keine. Auch im näheren Umkreis der Fundstelle ist nirgendwo rote Erde. Die muss also vom Tatort stammen. Jankowski soll sich darum kümmern. Und was sagen wir jetzt wegen dem toten Jungen? Don't know. <laughs> I love this house so much. Just the way that it's set up on the outside. Oh. Oh. Fell asleep in his room. Charlotte hat angerufen. Es gibt immer noch keinen Durchsuchungsbefehl für das AKW. Wir sind jetzt fast 36 Stunden unruhig. God. Like, at least talk to your wife, man. I mean. Leaving a mother alone with her thoughts after losing a child is never a good thing or a good idea. Okay. Ich mach das. Okay. 
this is gonna turn into an obsession. I mean, rightfully so, but. <laughs> Man, everybody's so secretive in this show. He's gonna catch on. He's like, oh, she's acting suspiciously. God. Is that gonna be Ulrich's car? Oh, oh my God. Are you serious? She's gonna be like, what have you been up to? Where have you been? Of course. And that explains why he was so fidgety and like acting all weird on the phone call with, with uh, Charlotte. Like we need to talk. Uh, what was it about? No, uh, uh, uh. Grill his ass. Nothing special. Shit, man. To the wrong ten in the evening. Nope. He's lying. And now she knows. That confirms that he's hiding something at least. Okay. Wow, man. Okay. Like he doesn't strike me as a killer, though. I, I, like, there's something more to his character, especially like, like seeing how timid he is and jumpy, or maybe he's jumpy because he knows that he's likely going to get caught because he was messy. I don't know. It's gonna be Magnus. We saw him go after. It fucking better be Magnus. Okay. <laughs> I was like, we're, we're not about to lose somebody else. Sign. <laughs> ich möchte wissen, ob Peter Doppler einer ihrer Kunden war. Diesen Montag. Kann ich noch mal in Dienstag wissen? Charlotte Doppler. Oh Gott. Ist das eine private Frage oder eine berufliche? Private for this one, I guess. This would give him an alibi if he truly was here. That means he's not involved with whatever the fuck is happening. Oh, not necessary. I remember him. Wow. Come on. I'd rather him be here than actually a part of potentially. Shit. Damn. There goes a possible alibi if, the, if he really was there. All right, Ulrich, what are you up to? Oh my eye. This is just so scary, like, I understand the curiosity now that you actually have something physical in your hand that you can go by, but still, you don't know what's in here. It's closed off. The beginning is the end. The end is the beginning. Bye. 
<laughs> I don't know how she didn't realize that Magnus was just <laughs> has just been telling her the entire day. I'm assuming it was the guy that was watching him as he went into the cave. Like, I'm trying to understand his obsession. Is he, like, attracted to her or is he suspicious of her, you know? Like, now I think it's just a, a physical attraction and not... Because look at him. She has so much on her mind right now, especially now that she knows at least last year that her husband was cheating on her. Fresh tracks. Yeah, halt dich fest. Der Vogel hat das gleiche. Hat was? Ich platzte Trommelfälle First auf beiden. Drums on both sides. Daran ist er gestorben? Nee. Gestorben ist er, weil er wahrscheinlich die Orientierung verloren hat und auf den Boden geknallt ist. Gebrochener Schädel. Aber sowas kommt wohl öfters vor. Elektromagnetische Felder stören das sensorische System. Durch Hochspannungsmasten? Nein. Wir reden hier von Spannung im Radiowellenbereich. Eher Elektrogeräte. Und die weiße Masse oben am Gefieder? Diese weißen Flecken. Nach Tschernobyl sind sie vermehrt aufgetreten. Eine Form von Mutation. Du meinst, sie sind verstrahlt? Habe ich natürlich nachgemessen. Alle Werte okay. What? Really? Wow. Mensch, da bist du ja schon wieder. Komm, Oma wartet. No. Bye, Essen. Soll ich dich nach Hause fahren? Uh, I mean, honestly, I think I think she should probably go. Her mom's still at that little cat in place. Now I'm scared. What if she gets kidnapped or goes missing too? <laughs> like this show has me on edge now. Like, do you even know you're gonna get your daughter? And no one knows that she's here. Oh, everybody doing everything by themselves. It is so scary charlotte Ulrich, um jonas oh she sees the the um that bunker and we know there's a major a major clue we've seen it open before or is that just the opening i feel like we've seen it open but we never went inside i don't remember what episode that was uh-oh, -uh, bitch. And the lights still turn on? Yeah. Yeah, du hast? Oh my god, is it Peter? Did he take her money? Mein Geld. Woher hast du so viel Geld? Wo du Drogen? Was du deshalb oben bei den Jungs? Wenn ich mein Geld verdiene, geht dich ein Scheiß zu an. Vielleicht fängst du mal damit an, die Wahrheit zu sagen. Du willst die Wahrheit? Okay. Meine Eltern schlafen seit einem Jahr in getrennten Betten. Meine Mutter traut davon, dass mein Vater in Wirklichkeit auf Schwänze steht. For over a year. Now it's okay, I like that. They sprinkle in little hints like that, like. Stattdessen sitzt jeden Tag ein dickes, fettes Geheimnis mit am Tisch. Und es ist von den Brötchen und von der Butter und von der selbstgemachten Marmelade. Und es wird dicker und fetter. Bis es keinen Platz mehr gibt zwischen dem Geheimnis und den Wänden drumherum. Bis man nicht mehr atmen kann. He is really creepy though. You like him, girl? <laughs> I mean, if you into it. <laughs> Y'all, people can just come in here anytime they want. You know that, right? You know what? Have fun. Oh, my God. 
Jesus, that is bold. Y'all got so much to talk about. It's ridiculous. Oh my god. How long has she how long has she been waiting? I mean, Now's the time. Uh, at this point, you might as well just move out the house. Because <laughs> I don't think that this marriage... I don't think it's worth it. They turn off the lights. She did take the lipstick. Ah. Oh my god. She's going to walk home in the rain. This it's just setting us up for disasters, man. And where are you going? Uh Helge? <laughs> Is he going to go to the cave? He's saying TikTok, and funnily enough, the guy that was watching Jonas was checking his watch. So I'm trying to put pieces together, try to see it, like to see if I can stitch something into one coherent thought or theory. Uh, we've seen that candy wrapper before. She's not there anymore. Oh my god, man. Hopefully that's like the only way home is just one way. So if he just keeps driving down that road or whatever, he'll find her. Oh my god. We have to walk Ulrich. Jesus Christ. Because they wouldn't let him in, so he was like, okay, I'll just force my, my way in and look at him. God. I am so scared for this little girl. And especially now that he said that. Imagine if she goes missing. The Like, oh, uh, It's like everything just feels like a red flag to me now. <laughs> and I hate that. <laughs> and you won't, and you, you wouldn't understand if, it, you know. Because it's... Oh, shit. We're about to lose two kids in four episodes. This is so scary, man. Like your daughter, like, oh my God. Y'all couldn't just take two seconds to pick this girl up. This is fucking bullshit. And only minutes after Ulrich told her, you know, you want to understand because it's not your child. This is... 
and she wasn't by the cave. So, uh, <laughs> oh, you can tell that Katarina is just out of it, and it's not, it doesn't make anything better that um, that Ulrich isn't there to console her, you know, and comfort her like a fucking husband should. Your sister's gone. Oh my god. And the last thing she did was fight with her sister. Like, oh. Helge is still going. God, this. Ulrich, I'm sorry, but you suck. Like, I. <laughs> it was the same time. I have to tell him. That was our friend. He has to stop. I think they do know. He knows who the hooded guy is. <laughs> Fucking girl! Ooh. I lost my hat. Who was you then? It took you that long? Yeah! I met someone. Oh my god, did, did she run to that hooded guy? He gave me this. Noah. Wer ist Noah? We're about to end with another mind fuck, aren't we? He said it's hers. Oh. I was so scared, yo. I was about to be right. <laughs> Oh, the lipstick. She's like, you. Oh my god. Are you fucking serious? You mama, you ain't gonna do shit? God, yo. <laughs> yes, I'll be right there. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. For Charlotte. Okay, Noah. Is that the name of the hooded guy? I, I don't... Do we know the name of the hooded guy? <laughs> uh, Y'all, this show. He has to stop. If he says Noah, I'm gonna go crazy. Noah. Oh my God! And the only person that knows who Noah is, for for sure, anyways, is the little girl. That is ridiculous. Is that is that is this Yasin? I'm not a baby anymore. Yeah. Oh no, Yasin. Like everybody gets just a little like a, a little key piece of information to go off of and they go and do their own thing. Oh no, Yasin, you're about to get taken, boy. You must be Yasin. Noah sent me. Oh. Yo! <laughs> what in the hell? Okay, so like, is no. <laughs> we didn't get to see this guy's face, so I don't know if Noah is. Like, I feel like he would show. They would show us his face if that was the same guy that we saw that was following Jonas and and. Also, the guy who was um, who checked into the into the Wyndon Hotel, but they didn't show that guy's face at all. It could be. 
So I'm going to assume that's an entirely different person that we're meeting now, which is ridiculous to think about. But like the weird thing about the hooded guy that we saw following Jonas is he didn't do anything to Jonas. It looks like he was trying to help him or silently help him. Like he and the weird thing, too, is he he knew where the map was in his room. So I'm just like, I, he's probably like, I maybe he's been following Jonas for a while. Well, that wouldn't make any Okay. The thing with, with that theory is that Jonas didn't know where the map was. Like, it's not, it's not as if Jonas knew where the map was forever, unless that guy worked with Jonas's father before he had killed himself. And... I don't know, y'all. <laughs> My head's about to explode. <laughs> this is good, though. I love the fact that everybody is just getting little tidbits of information and none of them knows what the other person knows. Like, for example, um, Helge knows Noah, but he doesn't know where Noah is. Elizabeth, his granddaughter, knows Noah, who has just given Elizabeth a pocket watch to give to Charlotte. It's just, <laughs> Jonas has the map to the caves the same caves that Auric has been trying to navigate through. It's... <laughs> God. And also, when it comes to Charlotte, she's putting together the 33-year the 33 pattern. Like, everybody has their own pieces, pieces of information. So, imagine if they all came together, right? And say, okay, I know this, and I have the maps to this. And I was the last person that saw, um, that saw Mikkel then Ulrich can be like, hey, actually, I went through the caves and I heard a voice that maybe sounded like Mikkel. And um, when I went to actually go through the caves and everything like that, there was a dead end, but it led to the, 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 the nuclear power plant. Like, there's so much information that they could exchange with one another if they all knew, you know, how deeply involved everybody was with this entire mystery. But it's crazy how big this is turning out to be. Cause like, and also we this we still haven't seen what the briefcase thing does. Again, I still think it's a time machine. And that still would explain the TikTok TikTok and also the hooded guy checking his watch. It's <sighs> Y'all, I am exhausted. This show is just a mind fuck in the best way possible. And Again, I am glad that this isn't like a, an easy story, right? It's not an easy, predictable thing that you can just, you know, sit back and, you know, watch while while you're testing on your phone or something like that. You have to be locked in 24-7. But, um, and I also, I am glad that I, that I am wrong. And I know it's probably frustrating for some people to hear all the wrong theories, especially when it comes to the girl um, not being kidnapped but still i mean like subverting it um the viewers expectations is a part of the ride you know just the idea that you genuinely don't know what's possible in this show is crazy and we didn't see mikhail at all we didn't go back in the past at all to see how he was doing so i i do hope that next episode we kind of catch up with him to see how um how everything is going for him because Again, when it comes to his timeline and what he is, what and who he's interacting with, I am so interested in. Honestly, I think out of everybody, he's the one that I want to um, focus on the most. I love um, Jonas, even though he barely has lines, y'all. <laughs> out of everybody, I feel like he said the, the fewest amount of words. But um, I love the the mysteriousness behind Jonas. But right now, I think Mikkel is the key to understanding what the fuck is going on. In present day, everything is just a mind fuck. But if we go back in the past where I assume everything started, you know, the, the 33 years ago, we will see a lot because that's where young um, Helge is. 
And that's where um, young uh, Ulrich is, who just recently lost his brother. We might get a lot of answers here. So fingers crossed, man. This this show is so good. God damn. I'm only four episodes in and I'm already just amazed. But um, anyways, of course, if you guys are watching this over on YouTube, check out the Patreon for full length access as well as early access to anything dark plus any other shows and movies that we are watching. I love your support. Aside from that, you guys have a great day slash night and I'll see you next time.